Hey, this is Mirgloff, and I'm on the Third World server, and I'll be doing another tour of uh, other players' uh, builds. But uh, real quick, I wanted to also uh, use this video to show uh, players how to use MCM, MCMMO, for those that uh, don't know how to use it. One of the first things I'm going to demonstrate is the mining skill. When you have a pickaxe in your hand, and observe that I have no iron ore in my inventory, and you right-click with the pickaxe in your hand, you can use something called the Super Breaker, which lets you break blocks really fast, and also allows you sometimes to get double or even triple drops of ores when you mine them. Uh, which was the case here, there were nine ore blocks there of iron ore, and I picked up twelve, so that means I got at least three double drops, or one triple drop. And uh, in addition to uh, the mining skill, the same is also possible with uh, axes. You right click with the tool, you have tree feller which works pretty much exactly like uh, Tree Capitator and when you break the bottom block the whole tree comes down. Uh, the higher your uh, MCMMO axis skill, the taller the tree you can use Tree Feller on. And uh, other skills have uh, similar uh, abilities. When you're holding a tool, just right click like I just did there, and it, you'll have that green text that comes up and it signifies that there's a special ability that you can use. And to check your uh, skill level, you should just do MCMMO. There's the command list. Or actually, that's just about MCMMO. Uh, MC. Nope. Mm. Ah, okay. Use MC, oh, MCC to see the list of commands. And uh, ah, here we go. MC stats. The CRM stats. These are my stats right here. Excavation. Fishing, herbalism, mining, woodcutting, axes, archery, swords, taming, unarmed, uh, acrobatics, repair, then overall power level. And you can check uh, the top ranks of a skill by doing MC top and then the skill name. There you go. Anyways, uh, enough of the MCMMO. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Matthew 269's place. Okay, we are at Matthew 269's place, which is this cliffside here. don't know what this is. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's in there. Nothing at the moment. And here's a bunch of stuff. And up here is, oh, this is Matthew's uh, storage room. I think it's pretty nice. What you did with the wall. And he's got a, uh, oh, for, I forget what these are called at the moment. 
he's got these signs, these frame, item frame signs, there we go. And down here we have Matthew's quick drop, oh, well, quick drop uh, to his mine here. He's got a little bit of a farm going, a strip mine. Looks like a nether portal right here. I won't bother taking a look in the nether. Does he have something to show? Oh, he has a grinder over here. He mined pretty far to reach this spawner. So how does the how does the grinder work? That's yeah, it. They spawn here, but. Ah. And then they fall here, I presume. Well, almost a one shot kill. That's pretty cool. Oops. Now we'll go back to Matthew's base. Alright, and we're back at Matthew's base, climbing up the mine here. And he says that's pretty much it for now. So, oh, is that him up there? Probably used slash home. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it. I don't want this nether wart. Um, yeah, I suppose that's it. So we'll just take a quick look outside, then we'll end the video. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.